So ever since I started making content about sourcing from China, a lot of people have reached out to me with many questions. So in this video, I'm going to answer some of these questions and this is going to be my 100th video. So let's go. Okay, the first question is, can I send people money on Alipay or WeChat? Most of the time, I know you guys want to send money to your suppliers directly to cut all costs to protect your profit margins, but sometimes it may not be a good idea to do this. Frankly speaking, you cannot send anyone money without a Chinese bank account. However, you can sign up for the Alipay Tour Pass or add foreign bank cards to your WeChat to make online payments. There are some restrictions in doing this method though. When you use the Alipay Tour Pass or use a foreign bank card on your WeChat, you can only make purchases on online platforms like 1688, Taobao, Pinduoduo. You just can't receive money and send money using the funds from your foreign bank account. This is to prevent money laundering by allowing all kinds of foreign cards where they can't vet the funds to turn into RMB and vice versa. So it's not possible to do that. Something also to consider is that Alipay and Alipay Tour Pass are different systems. You can eventually receive money, but if you're expecting to turn RMB into your local currency, no, that's not gonna happen. Unless you open a Chinese bank account and go provide all the proper paperwork to that bank so that they can help you with the transfer. And this relates to the second question, which is, can I get a verified Alipay or WeChat account without a Chinese bank account? The quick answer is no. Again, back to the money laundering case. Verified accounts are meant for those who have some kind of stable situation in China. For example, they're a Chinese citizen, they're a student, they run a business, or they're on a work visa. You need to be here in some kind of legal visa to actually open a bank account in China. There are exceptions, which I will go into in a little bit later, but for the most case, it works this way. You may be seeing people advertise that they sell verified accounts, like for Alipay and WeChat, but this is dangerous and illegal in China. If caught, you are at risk of never being able to come to China again, and the person giving you the account can go to jail and face up to five years or more in prison. There are very rare cases where Alipay will actually verify your account. But this has happened with people who've had an Alipay account for over a year and they opened an Alipay tour pass and have gone through passport verification and have had many transactions where you can actually contact their customer service either through phone call or through chat. But 99% of the time, it won't work. You won't get a verified Alipay but you can always consult with their customer service in the event that there's a possibility. Again, I've only seen this for people that have been using Alipay for years, do not have a Chinese bank account, but have been using the personal bank account to make purchases online or using the Alipay to harass. Question number three, can I get a Chinese bank account remotely? Now we all know during this situation, the pandemic, it's actually getting pretty hard to come into China. The rules are changing every day, so it is unpredictable of when the rules will be clear, whether you're vaccinated or not, to come into China legally. So you can open a bank account remotely, but under special circumstances. If you want to open a personal bank account for personal use, no way. 100% you will not be able to get a bank account unless you are in person at the bank branch with the required visa. However, if you take advantage of some of the free trade zones, like Hainan, and if you are serious about opening a business, it is 100% possible. You should check out this video, but a disclaimer, it requires an investment and you will have to keep up with yearly taxes and operations. This method is only for serious business startups. It is not for people just trying to start out a business with the methods that I teach in this video. If you just want to start out the cheapest way possible, I recommend you use the Alipay Tour Pass. Do not go opening a business bank account in China because it's thousands of dollars of an investment up front. Question number four, can Chinese sourcing websites ship overseas? Mostly, no, but in rare cases, maybe. AliExpress and Alibaba have the best channels for this directly on their platform. However, if you really want to save on your profit margin and cost, and you already have a decent freight forwarder, you may be able to convince some suppliers on Taobao, Pindodor, or 168 to ship overseas. 
Some of these companies may already have contracts with some carriers that support overseas shipping, but it is super rare. Taobao sometimes offers forwarding services, but realize a lot of the products on Taobao have not been vetted for overseas sales. So if you buy something that is contraband, any liquids, any batteries, you can have and most likely will run into issues. I have had someone be able to ship straight from Taobao to overseas, whether it's to the United States or to other countries. But if you can't read Chinese and you can't follow up on the product, it can get stuck in the system. Taobao will send the product to the freight forwarder that they have a partnership with and you will also have to incur extra taxes and more payments before it gets shipped to its found destination. And if you don't know how to follow this process in the platform, all in Chinese, the product may get stuck and you may not actually get the product in the end. So in this case, I highly recommend you use a freight forwarder to help you with these common situations as scams can be common if they know you don't know the system and the time runs out before you can apply for a refund. Now this goes into question number five. How do I get refunds? This depends on the platform that you are using, but typically platforms like Pinduoduo, 1688, Taobao all have ways to get refunds. If you pay people directly on WeChat or Alipay, good luck. Unless you use some of the, the sneaky ways, like on WeChat, there's a 24 hour period, you can send people money in case they're a scam. And if you let them know within that 24 hour period, you get your money back, you're pretty much out of luck. If you use a foreign card, you can also expect it to take a lot longer. I've gotten refunds almost immediately using Chinese bank cards. But when I applied for a refund using a foreign card, it took between two to three weeks before it actually hit my account. Whenever you purchase something, you're going to have a time limit to get the refund back, usually between five to seven days and no questions asked. Otherwise, you will need to send the product back to the factory or wherever it was produced to get the refund. Beware though, these are domestic platforms. So if the supplier knows you are shipping overseas, be careful as they may ship the wrong items and let the clock run because they know once the goods leave mainland China, it's very hard to get them back to the factory and they will take advantage of you. Inspections are important, especially if dealing with overseas shipments. So I consider looking for a freight forwarder that can assist you inspecting the products inside mainland China before they cross the border. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos and this kind of content. And if you have any questions I haven't answered here to make your journey from sourcing from China smoother, let me know in the comments down below. I have actually been requested to create a full course about the whole process on how to successfully source from China for your business, going from the selecting the right product, payments, and shipping. And I would love your input throughout the creation of this course. You can join this WhatsApp group right here to give your own input. If you found this valuable, smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more tips about sourcing from China. You can also follow me on my social media if you want to get in contact with me that way. Thanks for watching and let's make sourcing easy.